Good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy Alex. Today's Thursday, October 10, 2024, at 3 47 p.m. That's the time. And we're going to do another taste test of Breezeberry. Is that what it's called? Breezeberry. Breezeberry, right there. So, I'm going to move, move myself aside a little bit. Hold on. Put you right here. Got my drink. And let's begin. So I'm gonna keep this thing's broken. That's not important. Well it is important, but not that bad. Let's open it up and see what we got. I believe it's blue raspberry flavor. It looks like blue raspberry. From the looks of the can, like that's blue raspberry right there. Ooh. That's not bad. That really isn't bad. Sugar alcohol, one gram of sugar alcohol. I don't know what sugar alcohol is, but it's okay. Oh god, damn. <sighs> taurine, yeah, we know it. Taurine, caffeine. Actually, I'm going to go myself. This is a very uncomfortable seat. Moving it back to my original spot. Bringing the drink with me. I'm going to push it back. There you are. Okay, good. Okay. Got nice and comfortable. Now let's get into it. Alani Jesus Christ Alani Is it Alani? Is that what it's called? What's it called? Yeah, Alani And you Flavor Tart blue raspberries coated in a sweet crystal frost. Okay. Okay, I just click off a bunch of tabs because they were all open. I'm like, what the hell? Why are all these tabs open? What you heard is straight from the source. It's blue raspberry with a coat of frosting. Or icing, sorry, icing. I'm doing this. I'm drinking this very slowly to enjoy it because I could have chugged this bad boy and the video would have been over in like three minutes. And that's not my intentions. Oh man, damn it. Let me get my jacket from the dryer. I'll be right back. Because I'm cold. 
I just, it was a today was a miserable day. I didn't have my jacket on this whole entire day. Pretty miserable. Okay, got my jacket on. Nice and cool. Oh, today it was cold outside this morning. It still is cold. It's like what? Sixty-three degrees. No, that's in Virginia. What the hell? Fifty-six. It's fifty-six where I currently am. Choose area. Hold on. Cause that's pretty generic. That's a pretty generic Manchester. There we go. Yeah, fifty-six. Partly cloudy. 46% humidity and the wind's 15 miles an hour. I oh, no, sorry, 14 miles an hour. That's pretty crazy. I'm not going outside. But I'm going to lunch, di uh, dinner, sorry. I, I can't speak for some reason. Today has been a day of no speaking. Like, literally, I can't talk. Thank you guys for your support on my um, video of what you think. Bum ba da dun 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 Either 572 or 73 views in the past two hours. Well, it's been three hours, I think, since I posted it. Times 356. So. I got therapy tomorrow at 10. That I have to remember to go to because class, there's no school tomorrow. But there's still doctor appointments I gotta go to and all that stuff. So, see what happens. Also, guys, pray, send your regards to my family in, well, my family, sorry, my. Cousins in Florida, they're gonna get hit by the hurricane that's coming. I live in like one or two, maybe even three days. I think three, or two, three, two or one days away from getting hit. It's just off the coast of Florida. <clears throat> oh. I'm almost done with this. Am I almost done? No, I'm not. So that's a significant amount to finish. What do you guys think I should do? Because Florida. Was Florida hit or was it Georgia? The most recent hurricane that made it landfall, I believe that was last week, hit Georgia. Uh, the East Coast hit the broad side of the East Coast. I think Florida was involved. If it was, there's very little damage that I can remember. But there's a new hurricane, a Category 6, I believe, hurricane hitting the world traveling at like 200 miles an hour uh, coming into Florida like literally this is Florida right the peninsula of Florida it's, got the, it's either going like this right across it or it's going like this it's gonna go inward and just straight through Florida I don't know the tra trajectory. Let me just search it up. I 
Hurricane Milton. Live up in deadly Milton leaves Florida with flood. Oh, it already hit. Oh, jeez. More than three million people left without power. The storm spared Tampa, but flood issues in homes through western Florida. Deaths have been told. Okay, so. It's pretty bad. Three million. The last hurricane left like 1.5 million. It's like double that. And there's, more, I guess, more people in Florida than there are in Georgia. But it did hit Florida. I'm assuming it went like this straight through Florida. I sorry, I just made landfall sometime today. I thought I saw, I saw a nurse. Two hundred milligrams of caffeine, guys. Pure caff. Where's the? Two hundred milligrams of caffeine, right there. Can't miss it. it says it literally right there. Vegan, right there. Bunch of bi antibiotics and gluten free. Okay, I'm going to throw this away. If you don't know what this is, Alani, Alani Breezeberry, if you want, if you were just clicking on through the video, like clicking through the segment, the video is about to end. Um, this cost me $2.50. Jesus Christ, that's a big start. Um, two fifty to buy, it's probably cost three fifty online, I think. I'm not going to check the price, don't give a shit. I'll see you guys in a second. So, yeah, guys, that's the taste test of Breezeberry Alani. And you. Alani and you. Sorry. The full name, Alani and you. Like, N, down, diagonal, down, and, and you. Like, that's literally the N. I don't know that stands for. But, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, it's a company that makes great sodas. So I tried yesterday, I tried the Cherry Slushy, Slush. And this is the Breezeberry, which is blue raspberry with a hint of uh, frosting or icing, something like that. I can't remember the exact word, it doesn't matter. I told you in the video, I can't remember. Um, what else is going on? So... I'm going to be graduating from security in about 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. In about three months. Like starting tomorrow, three months, hopefully. I haven't done a single thing to make progress, but my tar is going up. My progress is making up. It's going up, so I'm making progress somehow, miraculously. Don't know how. But I am.
And uh, let me think. Um, I'm not sure. What else is going on? So, I just graduated from security. I'm going to see if I can do hotel and lodging. It's going to be a big waste of time. It's what it really is. Hotel and lodging is just a waste of time. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. And I apparently can't get out of here. Because my dad wants me to do hotel and lodging. It's going to be a hotel for a security guard for a hotel. I said, I'm looking for being a security guard at Lion Food Lion in Virginia. Not a hotel. Like, that'd be great if I was a hotel security guard. That'd be, probably make a good amount of money. But, like, security guard has a huge, a bunch of branches that you could fill up with your resume. You know what I mean? Like, you apply to your TSA. You mean airport security guard. You could be a terminal security guard. You could be a turf, uh, the tar Tar? No, not turf. Turf? Marmac? No. Tarmac. Tarmac. Sorry, I can't remember the word. Tarmac security guard, you patrol the area outside the airport. Like, the tarmac, to make sure people aren't, like, jumping the gate and running to an airplane and getting killed. That'd be horrible. Um, no security breaches, that'd be nice, drive a little vehicle, drive a little vehicle, nice little vehicle, drive your way around the security, keep the place secure, that'd be nice, but, um, that's about it, guys, uh, time is 4.06 p.m., and you know what, that's all I got, guys, so I'm gonna rate that, that was a good, I'm gonna give that a good 9 out of 10, I like blue raspberry, I don't like it more than cherry, or well, maybe I do actually. Yeah, I probably do. Probably get that 8.5 out of 10. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a 9. Whatever, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So, rating 9 out of 10. Peace, guys.